Now wait just one second before we get started, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. We truly appreciate it. Now that we got the business out of the way, what's up everybody? It's Donna Ashley from No Plan Says Travel. In this episode, we bring you to one of the most popular cities in the world, Miami. Miami is one of those cities that constantly evolves and keeps reinventing itself. And as we were driving through, you can see all the construction things showing you signs and new things to come. So we finally made it to our hotel, and we did a little walking around because for some odd reason we could not find a parking garage. We were planning a return visit to Miami, and we wanted to stay at this hotel again. We did a Google search and found out that it's permanently closed. Listen, I don't understand why, I have questions, I have concerns, like all of you, I need answers. But instead of getting all in my feelings, I rather sure everyone with this great hotel had to offer when they were in business. Let's start with the room. It's very spacious, very clean, even offered a separate sofa bed, there was a walkout balcony, depending on where you were in the building, they offered different views of the city. There was even a full kitchen, the bathroom was very spacious, had a rain shower, there was even a washer and dryer inside of your room as well. Oh, there's the parking garage. Thank you for hiding in plain sight. Let's head to the gym. For all my gym lovers, this place is heaven. It has all the equipment that you can imagine and more. Just imagine getting your morning workout in, running on the treadmill or you're hitting the weights, and you look out the huge windows and you see the Miami skyline. Hey, I'm already inspired. Now look at this view of downtown Miami, aka Brickle City. It never gets old. Now I could walk around the gym all day, and I'm pretty sure all my gym lovers would love that, but we'll move along, and we'll show you what else the hotel had to offer. This is the lounge area slash business center, people they come and hang out and chill, network, or if they're on a business trip to catch up on some work. It's also a second level as well. This is our favorite part of the hotel, the pool area. And we all know Miami gets hot. If you're down here, you need to buy some water. And if you can't be on the beach, there's no better place to be than the rooftop pool. So besides a few people hanging out in the pool, it never really got too crowded up here. So I feel like we got a chance to enjoy this space to ourselves. And let's go check out the second level. Not too many hotels in the city that offer views in Miami like this. And we're still trying to figure out why did they permanently close?
views don't stop. And from this side of the building, you get to see the Port of Miami. With the walking distance of our hotel was Anari. I mean, if you love sushi or hibachi, this is the place to be. Early in the video, I shared with you all that the hotel's business center slash lounge area had a second level. So I want to take a walk upstairs and give a more in-depth look of what it had to offer. So as far as the hotel was very clean, everything was brand new, a great location, had affordable nightly rates, amenities such as the pool, the gym, a washer and dryer in the room, and within walking distance of all the downtown Miami's attractions, and it also offered lots of transportation options. There was a monorail station right next to the hotel. So the million dollar question remains, why did they shut down? So to answer that why, we have to do some research, and this is what we found out. There's new ownership who decide to go into a different direction. All of the rooms have been converted into apartment units for rent. So if you live in Miami, or you plan to move to Miami, and you're doing some apartment hunting, you may want to check them out. Once again, this was a great hotel that once was, with affordable night rates and excellent views. And speaking of views, we'll leave with some night views. Thank you all for watching, and there's still more to come from season two, and we're preparing for season three. We're going international again, so stay tuned.